Hi gamers, SFG here, and we've got a, uh, a pretty interesting video, I think, anyway, that we're going to do hopefully today. Um, well, hopefully it's going to be interesting for you guys anyway. So we're looking at the Shadows of Forbidden Gods again, and you might be thinking, why SFG? Are you just showing us the she who will feast screen? Well, yeah, that's kind of boring, and then we've got, you know, the Aster, the Laughing King, seen him, done him. Uh, Venerva, I haven't played as her yet. Uh, open him, doing her him right now, so um, it, <laughs> uh, as we speak. So, And I'll be continuing that, probably not, I don't know when this is going to release, to be honest, guys, when I quick hand to edit it, but the next video is probably going to be the week commencing uh, 26. So I'm going to have a bit of a week off just to kind of get things um, sorted. It's my wife's birthday, so I'm taking her down to London and we're going to see a, a show. And what have you so no time for recording i'm afraid of doing videos apologies but i'll be kicking that off again uh, that week but anyway oh for him yes doing that uh my man needs to have a look at him as well but we've seen him before um and then we've got this guy what ixthus king of cups so for those of you that have seen my last video <laughs> um the latest beta introduces modding tools and I can't actually play with this fully because Ophony must started on the main branch and if, I, if I'm if i on the beta branch it breaks my Ophony saves basically but there's quite a few nice things on there already. Obviously I'll cover them in a full video once the update goes live on the main branch but one of the biggest things is a full C sharp I think it's called modding capabilities and the um, that modding capability has allowed uh, one of our friendly people on the Discord, NPC I think it was? Yeah. So NPC is actually finished pretty much. He's God, he might do a, a few passes of him perhaps, but he's all for you know, intense purposes, ready now, he's finished. So he's released on the beta, you can, uh, he's not on Steam Workshop yet, he's gonna put him out once the beta goes into the main branch, but uh, he's available on the Discord. If you join the Discord, you can get him from there and you can play the preview copy. That's what I'm on right here, so. We look at Ixthus Inc here, the King of Cups. They sought nourishment, then shelter, then companionship and wealth. One day they sought life, now each day they seek death. Awesome. I love this. I've got to be honest, this art I think is copyrighted perhaps, but apart from that, this god is, from, from what it sounds like, is very, very fitting to the game. So anyway, Ixus's mechanics revolve around grails of eternal life. Heroes and ruins who drink from them are afflicted with a cursed immortality. Continually resurrect him while their humanity is sapped away. So, he's got some interesting things here. We're going to go as this guy. I'm going to give, give him a quick go. So, uh, the Holy Ground, basic strategy, core strategy, Ixus, use a combination of danger, unrest to control where heroes go, what danger or unrest, I guess, control where heroes go and what they do, draw heroes into locations I'll be requesting, pay attention to heroes' motivations, and use danger and festering hatred to clean up. To clean up any distractions, rather. Keep in mind, immortal heroes will disregard the danger of the quest. So it's a great way to lower their life total and even kill them. But they won't obviously fully die. So, immortality comes at a price, basically, right? I think we've seen this. Let's reduce this down to 42 by 42, just for gigs. We're going to do random world. I think this should all be okay. Uh, we don't need some advanced options. Just going to go for it. And let's just jump straight in here. And what I'll probably do is cut some things out here as well. Oh, Supplicant's got some cool art here. Look at this. But I'll probably cut some things out once we play. Maybe the early game, then I'll cut to mid game and then to late game. But um, So we've got a Supplicant here. We'll be obviously be able to... Oh my god, look at the other two. What? Oh, the art is dope though. Waters of Eternal Life, Gawain's Immortal Body. Right, okay, so I think we need to try and get people to use power. Seek the Grail. Uh, creates Whispers of Eternal Life modifier. Heroes near the modifier will hear about the ones of Eternal Life. May we get a quest to become more themselves. The quest gains much more profile based on neighboring infiltration and can be made more enticing by shadowing neighbors or donating gold to fund ventures. Must be cast on a location with infiltration greater than zero and no existing whispers. Summon Gawain. So it's a powerful knight that loses strength over time. Gawain's strength increases your seals break. Costs more if recently used, like all the mortal characters, Gwen has no benefit from moving us. Cool. Festering Hatred. Places all rest and target location, we're doubling that amount. Uh, so have we got any rest on the map? Probably the first thing we want to do with this guy. We do! Oh my word, we do! Excellent! Not everywhere, bits in some places, but we certainly have some. So I think... Where are we? Where's the two? 
We'll have a look in a second, but this looks like a really good place to... Like... This looks like a really good idea, right? Yeah, that looks like a great idea. Let's do that. Use power, festering hatred on you, sir. 284, what the flip now? Well, okay, nice, uh, I think. <laughs> so I think the way this god works is you want to spread um, unrest quite a lot and danger. Those are your two kind of uh, key strategies, really. We're in an awful spot here. We're in a really bad spot, actually. There's no shadow. A bit of shadow to this. That's it. Weak. Uh, do we take... Let's spin off the cover. Let's just do a, a normal run, as it were. We're going to go to here when we infiltrate. it. What's the stats I get with here? 2243. I think that's normal. Crest of the Phoenix. Gain plus two to all attributes for 40 turns. The duration refreshes back to 40 each time this agent revives from death. You'll need to acquire a growl to become a mortar if you want to survive. Okay. That sounds like a thing you should do. Stolen mortars. When this trait is first acquired, gain two holy growls for immediate use. That sounds pretty sick. While in the same location as a mortal body, that body gains 3% charge each turn. I don't understand. Remorse, Crest of the Phoenix, or Stolen mortars. I think Stolen mortars is the one. We're going to infiltrate this. Oh, I could just drink it. But do I want to? We're going to do this first. Okay, we're going to infiltrate. I'm going to summon a new agent. Oh, I can't. Only one, okay. Fair. Faith adopted. Okay, I'm not bothered about that. Should have dismissed that forever. More faith. Don't show me that. The sting. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. We could sacrifice the hell right now. The Baroness has died. I feel like death is going to be seriously important. Oh my god, no calm is killing people. Nice. Let's kill that woman. Immediates aware. Not massive world about that right now. It's probably the chosen one. When do we get another agent? I wonder. Raise rent. Okay, refuse extortion. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a famine killing someone. Uh... I think combat is the way in this. You want people killing each other, right? And dying, presumably. So we can complete some portrait fortress. Cool, 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 cool. So that's going to get hella shadow. Look at this artwork. Oh, it's Knights of the Grail, I think. Awesome, right? We're just going to do a classic. Now, I think I can drop the a Grail, and it can potentially encourage the um, rulers to drink it too. Which is quite curious. I wonder when, gonna, when I get another, maybe when it breaks. We'll skip through a bit of this. Those two weak. Combat all the way. Man, there's some famine on this map. Damn. Nobility and opportunity. It's a... Huh. We'll take the 25 gold, I think. That sounds pretty sweet. But we're not here to show off events, I'm afraid. We've got some we're not by that either. Right. Increase the danger of all quests and neutral chances location but by four, but adds chance of location to increase the danger further. That's pretty cool. I don't think we need to use it just yet, but I'm kind of I'm feeling this festering hatred though, like what a What an absolute beast of a spell. Suddenly unrest has a use, right? Not that one. We don't want to do it there. No. Mm. Why am I doing this? Just show me the big unrest, please. Let's not mess about here. Mm, 51. I think. 98, though. Eat it. That's going to cause a lot. Oh, they've got so much famine as well. Why have they got so much famine? Yeah, I've got black food, though. But why? No farms. Hmm, curious. I'm not even... Create agent, let's pick a... And by the way, we could literally give those grails to like any of these peeps and they would be immortal, right? I think it works on our own agents. I'm fairly sure. 
Let's try it. <clears throat> Let's definitely try it, actually. <laughs> Shadow sounds fine. Once he's done his thing, one turn. But oh, this text looks new as well. It looks nicer. No, it's just me. I could be imagining things here, guys. Let's see, harvest. Let's do that for now. And then death, yes, okay. Done that, nice. 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 Nice, go away. Nice. I want to give, trade with the harvester, give him one of these things. Done. Um, and then I want you to go back here and infiltrate the rest of it. You, sir, can drink this. Now, this is going to be interesting. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Uh, you, sir, sorry, should be doing this. How long is it going to take? It's 10 turns. Sweet. Good. So I think he's immortal now. Right, so if he's killed, will he just keep passing on the madness? Oh, I've got, I think this is already an exploit that I'm going to try and use. Uh, but for now, what, we can't do any... No, he doesn't have any Embrace Eternity. Oh my gosh, right, well, I don't think we need to do that, to be honest with this dude. What are we saying about... Hmm. You're actually a pretty good ruler for what we want you to do, so let's... 225 turns, have you ever seen anything so savage as that? You, sir, can follow Sir Etrus Prong. Make everybody mad and be immortal. Sweet. I think this is... This god already is very, very interesting to me. I mean, we could just summon that like, Gawain, but I don't feel like I don't want to waste him, if that makes sense. Unless he's 20, that's fairly weak. 11 is even weaker. <laughs> There's a lot of burning on this uh, map. 0 is super weak. 21, 20, no. Come on, there's got to be something bigger. Show me the money. 46, dropping it. So Linger Resentment basically gives them double. No. It gives them two unrest per turn, so that 92 will convert into 184, right? Uh, take Intrigue, mate, because I want you to actually be able to... Oh god, I should have might actually, maybe just brutalise peeps with him. There's a King of and I must be bothered about that. Once you've... Dismiss that. Dismiss that. Oh my gosh, we can make... Oh, this enshadowment looks even better now. Is this some more beta stuff? Looks like it to me. More levels losing from these. Oh, look at this cuddle puddle over here. Of just people getting deranged by the harvester. <laughs> love it. I love the art on this supplicant as well. It's really in keeping with the game. Really, really in keeping with the game. Uh, you, sir, are going to have... No, 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 no. Let's do a bit of law. No, right. Look, I think. What's the wealth of this place? 21 is awful, but we can do a subtle thievery, which we're going to do. Dismiss that. Is he still following? He is. Good lad. What's his sanity? 15? Did I pick Shadow? Oh, lame. I should have picked Madness. That's a shame. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, take all. Give him this. I think he might take it. How do I get more grails? That's what I want to know. How do I create more grails? Hmm. How do I do this? How do I make more grails? I think I need people to come to them to take them, perhaps. Dang, what's the resentment's pretty bad. Unless it's going up nicely. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Infiltrate this place, I think, and then we'll try and take the city, perhaps, and get shadow spreading from there. And what I'll probably do now is cut the video. We'll come back in, hopefully, a few turns, and I'll, if anything interesting happens, obviously, I'll start recording again, but I'll come back to the mid-game, and then I'll try and come back in the end-game as well and show you guys what's going on with this god. But as you can see, this looks super interesting, right? A completely different play style to what we're used to. Um, there's also some other things I quickly want to show off, if I can. You probably saw them in the settings. Such a small map to what I'm used to on that massive mega map. <laughs> There's different uh, naming conventions on Das, Dees, Peas. You can see here slightly different naming conventions. There's also different art, but I think we've only got 
Yeah, this is all considered the same. There's no Asian Oriental art style here. Uh, but there can be. If there's, and that will have different namings with it, naming conventions. Uh, anyway, guys, we'll cut back in a bit and we'll see some of the mid-game in the box. If anything really kicks off, it'll get super interesting. I'll jump back on the show. With. Right, see you in a second. Okay, well, that didn't take long, guys, to come back to the game here. So I've just broken another seal. Um, second one, I think. And we've got a new power that gives us um, Eternal Gift 1. So it causes a hero or ruler to gift their Holy Grail to another person in the same space. And they gain a liking towards each other, right? Great. Look at this art. Oh, it's so good. This is what happens when you allow mods, though, to truly be free in a game. Uh, and the way that Bobby has supported this, Bobby Two Hands, um, has been... Really, it's going to be exemplified by the quality of the mods that are released because he supported it so hard that people, I think, I'm, I can't do it. I'm not capable, but people can do if they're capable, whatever they want. You know, it's really flexible. But anyway, we do have this guy. I was like, okay, let's have a look at him because he's got a cup. Right? I was like, well, why isn't he? What's the crack here? Why? Now he's more tempted to drink it the higher the unrest, right? So. This is curious to me. I could either bump up the arrest and try and get him to drink it, which I think makes this location like an evil location. Or, which is cool, by the way. Or I could get him to gift it her, and then she might be more likely to want to drink it. Um, but I need to know how I get more of these cups. I want some more cups. And that's the only thing that I'm kind of struggling to work out, really. Um, and I think I could get her to drink it just by basically giving it, walking up to her and beating, you know, punch her in the face, <laughs> basically. So I might do this. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what the right option is, to be honest, guys. I'm struggling to to work out the play here. Um, we've got interested neighbours, which is doing nothing here. So that's going to stay forever. So unfortunately, it's not really helping us. I am quite tempted, yeah, to, to gift. Let's do the gift. So now she gets it, right? She has. Now what's her likelihood to drink this thing? Attack disrupt, okay, whatever. Um, no, no, no. Oh, she's pretty high, like, so this, right, okay. So, so chat 30 challenges since resting, minus world panic, uh, world panic negative effects, that makes sense. Minion losses, HP losses, base, uncertainty, and international relations. I love this, and I think some of these have just been added, like, Minion HP uh, uncertainty. What is that? I don't think that's anything that would have been positive tags, ambition, and danger. Curious. All oh, right. So if I increase the danger, what's she doing right now? What is she? Oh, she's resting. Is she? She's gonna rest here. Hmm. So if I do this, if I summon Gawain. Uh, can I only do it here, can I? Yes. Come on, Gawain. Here he is. Oh, what the f- look at what's going on here now? What's happened to this? Waters of a- Oh, because Gawain is that picture! Oh, this- this is- I love this. I love this so much. He's gonna go up here and try and wipe this person. Uh, how long does he last? He's immortal, do we care? But that's gonna be his aim, I think. I could have recruited that. Forget it, we're going to go back and recruit the ogre real quick. Dismiss that. Uh, where are you, sir? Five turns, yeah, I can deal with that, right. Let's do this. Okay, lots of in shadow and such. Lots of level loss. I feel like the harvester is far better when you're using him to... Where's my supper can go? Oh, he's dang low. Doi. Um, okay. Nice, right, go away and go and boot somebody in the face. Where's that one? Drive back shadow, then I uh, Here she is, let's go and kick her head in. And she's reducing unrest, gutted. Does he steadily, how long is he around for? I don't know. Does not say. And shadowed and shadowed away, okay. Hmm, not as well. Five turns. No, 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 no. Tempting. Fuel the fire too is also kind of tempting. Because what is the MST? How long has she got to? Two turns. Nope. Nope. I'll tell you what I'll do, actually. I'm gonna. Festering Hatred. Yeah. And then she is going to. 
he, so he's going to attack her. Tempted to raid as well, but... Oh, she's got some good HP, this girl. Hold on. I don't want to kill her. She should retreat, really, but I bet she won't. So I'm going to retreat. <laughs> and hopefully she then... Um, she then uh, goes and drinks that cup. That's what I'm hoping. Let's see what she does, actually. Let's skip a few turns, see what happens here now. What is her temptation now? Yeah, it's high luck. Much. Still not the highest though, she'd rather rest, that's irritating. Can I use power? Trials and tribulations on her resting place. Right? Oh, she's recruiting a cell sword first, and she's gonna. I'd rather rely on Bastion, and she's gonna do it here. Dang it! To seek the grail. Can I. Oh, I can. Drop? Oh, I've got to drop them grails. That's how I get grails. Idiot. Right, okay. I'm back on it. Ish. I think I'm with it. I need to find a soul for the harvester in a bit. We'll cut back in a bit, guys. This is super interesting to me, though. I might do it. I'll maybe do it for... I think I will do it for a playthrough of this card. Uh, depending on how this goes. But anyway. Right, back in a bit. Real quick. Look at this. I didn't even know this could happen in any... I didn't think they could sell items to each other at all. But look at this. This is what this modder has done here. Now, NPC is added. Sir Pelham is Chant, that girl who had the Grail, sold it to Duke Entati Quiv Quivam for some money. But how interesting. So let's just check this guy out. What's he about? And why did he want it, more interestingly? He's unremarkable. Hold on. He has a Grail. Uh, I need infiltration. Unrest rather bumped up. So I might start investing something into that soon, but... Curious. So curious, how much money did she get for it? 101. Maybe quite a bit. Anyway, let's see what happens. So really quick guys, um, the Harvester died, was killed by this fellow. Uh, Pry Fakon, very mean. Um, and he was, his mortal body's here, I was like sweet, he's gonna come back. Then he got bound by this mage again, which kind of stinks. So that means I don't think he's gonna come back anymore. And I bought the, um, yeah, the curse to empower him to try and get him moving a bit. So let's start doing that and see if we can. Um, it costs a power mine, it's not cheap, but we'll do that and see if we can get him out a bit quicker. Um, there's some really, really interesting mechanics in this, guys. I've got to be honest, I'm so excited for where the modding scene is going to go in this game because. Uh, this is a first mod, it's not. Right. The game hasn't even fully launched the patch that delivers all this modding capability yet and already we've got a mod that just takes things to the next level. This this, this mod is so complex, there's so many things going on here that are just great additions to the game. Look at this, there's this power here, quick and sounds, makes everything happen quicker, doubles the standard effect of things. So everything look tick 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 just goes quicker quicker quicker. Now, um, I I very very much like this. I'm sure there's some other things that I've seen. The binding there that I've just talked about. Um, there's mechanics in here that don't just don't even exist in the base game. That's how kind of crazy this is. And I am like I said, very 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 impressed with this. Um, when this releases, I'll be probably doing a quick video just to say, get this. I believe, like I said, he's going to release it, or she, uh, or they, are going to release it when the this patch is live. But get it, guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely get it. This looks like a... Well, it is. It's a game changer. No question. Anyway, I'll come back in a bit. I'm <laughs> struggling to get through this because it's so cool. But <laughs> I'll try and get a few more turns done and we'll jump back. Look what's happening guys, this mage, the one that killed our harvester, suddenly decided to go on a quest to become immortal. How cool is this? So we're going to follow him, I think. Why does he want to do this, I wonder? I don't really care. I'm super hyped about this. Um, 
Oh yes, going for the quest for the Grail, that's so cool. Um, you've infiltrated, I think now I can to seek the Grail on this location. Seek it, seek the Grail. Uh, does that go into the... No, whispers. Tens were talking as chance about Legend of the Grail. Grail goes in all the time. Kappa 40 is profiles by the infiltration of its neighbors. Current main zero, profile zero, funding zero. What does this, does this, oh, it encourages them to go and do it. Right, okay. I think I'm with it. Uh, infiltrate the farming community. What is the, I love festering hatred. It's such a clever. It, it's a very, very, very good mechanic. Uh, and it makes so much sense as well in the context of the game. We're going to drop that there. We're going to do a quick few times to show this guy. So I can see I'm excited about this. You know, get away alliance. You better not have taken. Because it's quite a small map, this. It's here, isn't it? Where is it? Oh, it's this tiny thing. This. Hardly worth worrying about. Okay, whatever. Right, just skipped ahead a few turns there, guys. But if we look at this hero down here, they are actually. Where are they? There they are. Doing the quest for the Grail. So they've got two turns left, plus three. It looks like it's a command or a might test, is it? Uh, quest for the Grail doesn't tell us. Hmm, seek the Grail. Maybe. Oh, it's command. Yeah, it is a command, command challenge. So there we are. So I think it's a command challenge, just quest. But he's doing that there um, and then when he gets it I think he may very well drink it we'll find out but uh, well, in fact let's see what happens here okay so because it's got two plays this is the problem once you get mm. uh, four, four, what's going on here did we infiltrate this we haven't I thought we is it part of this it's not part of the alliance. Why didn't we? What did we just finish? Oh, we arrived. We go. Well, that's the idea to infiltrate. Get that done. Ta very much. One, two. It's a bit close. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm, this might be the one. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, this is the one. I need to infiltrate a place that's so many steps. Oh, I can't see alliance. Lol. So many steps away from another grail, or you can't place it down. Anyway, let's come with this. See what's going on here. One more turn, I think. He's got right. He's completed his quest. Mage Pryphacons complete their quest to retrieve the Holy Grail. Their temptation to drink the water and become immortal increases as they become more injured and tired. They may also choose to sell the Grail to a ruler if they're low on gold. So I've got to fund them. Um, become more injured and tired, but I can make them more... Oh my word, this is... The harvest is unique, I think, from, yep, our natural Englishman and more. But we're doing Shadow, so where is he? Uh, yeah, I don't mind a bit of Shadow there, I think. Man, this ain't no bad thing either, but let's do it. The new shadow effect is so cool as well. I actually really like that. It's been expanded slightly, looks brilliant. But so this guy, hmm, resting. So if I give him a bit of a wallop, it I think he'll be quite tempted to go and do that. But we'll try that in a bit anyway. I'll cut back in a little while, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this! Two immortality. So this Duke and Tati Tikwevan. That guy who took it a while back, bought it, I think, off another hero. Look at this heart. <gasps> Brilliant. Anyway. Oh, God. Yeah, I really like this. Empty folder. Curious. Probably should have put his name there. Um, Duke Entate Tikavan has drank from the Holy Grail and has become immortal. That night, there is a grand celebration as Duke Entate Tikavan gives a toast to their first night free from the worries and pains of mortality. It is only after the celebration ends that he begins to realise the cost of what he has done. That's pretty soon, to be fair. While his immortal body rests, his mind is offered no such reprieve. He is trapped, fully conscious inside an unresponsive, fleshy tomb. The agony of starvation, the primal terror of suffocation, and the whips and slings of death. He will experience them all in time, for there will never again be a moment in his life glossed over by the mercy of unconsciousness. Oh my word. Duke and Tati Tikavan is now immortal. He will quickly resurrect each time he dies. The price of immortality weighs heavily on his soul. Over time, he will inch closer and closer to accepting his new life and abandoning humanity. Yes, 
Staying at locations with high unrest and or low prosperity will accelerate this process and dying even more so. So let's get unrest there, high, and then we can try and he'll be killed and I think he'll come back. We can also just go murder him. The blessing is a curse. Nice. And we've infiltrated with the harvester. Nice. Uh, you, sir, are going to... What's your unrest here? Yes. Use the power. No rest or recourse. Bam. Ruin supplies. Nice. No rest for you. That also means... Uh-huh. He's going to take some eternal juice soon. Nice, nice. Harvester, you are kind of a bit of an everyman, really. You've got not much more sin left, but I'd like you to get some. So where's the nearest human soul? Uh, lead your soul. I should have done madness on this. A recurring harvester with the madness thing is just a bit silly. Um, I'm assuming if they're immortal, they don't drop souls. So I'm just going to head over this way with him. That's, that is a mission, but... We trust him, he'll make it. Um, yeah, that would have been cool. Like, fully mad. Immortal people just killing each other over and over again. Would have been pretty dope, but um, not to be with the harvester in this game. So, yeah, guys, I absolutely love that. that. Should we just see if this guy does it? Like, is it his next thing? He's disrupted. He's still going to the nurture, and then I think he's going to do this. I think. Um, so we've got a bit of a way, we've got nurture, yeah we'll come back to him if he does it. Right, we'll have a look in a second. Okay, so this is too cool to leave out of this video, but the Eternal City, look at this. This is what happens when a ruler turns, as it were, Duke Entate to Givan, but I think he's had it for about the entire game, so he's finally drank. Look at this, he, he no longer understands the people he rules over. He now only sees the instabilities people bring to his rule. If his life is to last for eternity, he must be certain his home will as well. Remorseless and spelling but whatever he turns upon his people using her vast influence to begin unraveling of his city at last when the plans are complete death is summoned and bade enter there is a burst of motion a futile struggle then nothing at all city of mentees is now an eternal city a silent sprawling ruin there is no life save duke and tati tikivan and no sound save his footsteps echoing through the city on empty streets through the empty street, sorry. Duke and Tati Tegivam now seeks to expand his domain, unleashing waves of destruction and darkness onto the unsuspecting countryside from his near empty palisade. Let's flip and check this out. Get out of my face. Um, where is this? Duke Tati oh, here it is. Oh, the art again! What? So, oh crap. Oh, he can hide. Curious. But I wonder. How far away from you from drinking it, mate? That's what I want. I want you to drink it, drink it. Hmm, we've got to see what this does. Yeah, we know it was a win. I'm not interested. It's fully shadowed anyway, this place. I'm guessing it doesn't shadow. Um. Mm. Now I'm guessing it would spread shadow, but obviously we've fully shadow there, so. But still, what a cool, what a cool mechanic, right? Too cool. Um, for school, you might say. Uh -huh. uh, but no, really like that, really like the mechanic thing, that's great. So, another fantastic addition in this mod. So I think I cocked up a little bit here, guys. I did mean to show you this uh, this mage, Pride Fakon, actually drank the waters as well. So he's become immortal. But look at this. He's died, right? Has he? <laughs> Pride Fakon dies of old age. Let's go to him. Yeah, we're in shadow in some of the... Uh... I'll show you the map in a second, actually. It's quite interesting, guys. It's pretty decently split. Um... Oh my gosh, he was a... He was a prophet. How funny. I wonder if he's going to become the prophet again when he resurrects. Anyway, where is he? Uh, is he here? Because when they die, there he is. He can't end. Like, he will always come back now. But he gets slowly corrupted, right? Slowly corrupted, slowly corrupted. So let's actually watch this. Let's see what happens. It's only a few turns. Um, mm, I could take the profile. Morning Shadow Map, nice. Uh, oh, right. Slow return to life. But when's that going to Okay, another turn, right, okay. 
just missed that. He's back, but let's check him out. There's a bad as well. Right, cool, 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 cool. They're never gonna drink the water. Oh, the prophets. <laughs> He's the prophet again. Dope. <laughs> let's have a look at this dude. Uh, Curse and mortality 55. I think if this gets to 100, could be 300, I'm not sure, but he turns into a dread knight. I think. Could be wrong on that. I wonder if it's in his quest chat. No, it's not here. Though. But curious. And it's really interesting because you can have. There's a war going on at the minute. Um, embrace it's this. Embrace eternity. Turns this unit into a non controllable dread knight who will automatically travel the world. Killing, stealing, and pillaging. Sweet. Um, I feel like Madness can kind of do that for me. I wish I'd have picked Madness for the um, Harvester. That would have been super interesting. He's stuck somewhere, sealed away. I'll get him in a bit. But, uh, which is another great mechanic, by the way. It makes immortality not quite as beneficial for the player. Um, but look at this. Okay, so do, 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 what's positive tags, ambition, cruelty, combat? I can't. Oh, he has to really love this. Although, of course, you can't mix the gods. So. Um, negative tags, cooperation. So I don't think he's got any of that particularly. But I want to know: fifty-five immortal suffering, minus thirty-nine light of soul. Well, how do I get rid of that? I don't want him to be light of soul anymore. I want him to be unlight of soul. I'm immortal. Yeah, you're keen to do that. <laughs> immortal, already immortal, plus I'm immortal is both. <laughs> so already immortal is a negative, and I'm immortal is a positive. I quite like this. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to think. How do I? I guess I've just got to get him killed more often. So let's do that. Let's. Trials of Tribulations is here. Hmm, I am so tempted just to whack him. Can I summon Gawain? I can. Get up, Gawain. I need your son. So Gawain's free when. Uh, oh my god, look at his might. When um, he's fully rezzed, as it were. I could just kill this guy, but why? Like, he's fully in shadow, he's sand. Let's go to here. Where are you headed to, son? Where? City of Eteril. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I'll meet you there. We'll have a bit of a power. See what the crack is. Here he is. Dismiss that a second. Dismiss that. I'm doing some shenanigans with, um, not these witches actually, some other witches, but might as well do these as well. Uh, some witches up, up north. Are you there? You are there. Kill him. The cover flees. Goad him. Because, yeah, I'll get you next turn. Uh, you, my sweet trickster, are going to level that. You're going to. Mm -hmm, nice in shadow. You're going to shadow infiltrate this next. And then you're going to take the city. Yeah, the map. Sorry, I was going to show you. Look, I think this is the game is getting really balanced now. Or this. Maybe it's this mod. But. This modded god. But look at this. So I've got one, two. Uh, these are two nations, but I've got two nations here. Um, this nation is separate here from this. These two, this is a horde, I think. No, this, oh yeah, they're both hordes, sorry. Uh, down here, but then I've got like this huge alliance as well. So this is kind of like proper dark, this. Red and a little bit of green there. And this, potentially. Against the light, which I think is really cool as a dynamic. Uh, and just as a map. But anyway, getting back to this. Um, I have got some power to spend, potentially. I didn't find much use for some of these, but let's do that there, just to have it there. Same modified picture, that's no major issue. Uh, Gawain. That's not Gawain, that's the... Here, we've got war again. Brilliant. The alliance is going into civil. Perfect. We've got some progress, lovely job. Where's Gawain? Oh, he's coming to... Oh, he's disrupted. I'm just going to kill him. But he's going to come back, as we know. Oh, okay, the king's got beef, who cares? He dies, or does he, right? Uh, it doesn't do anything. So let's leave where he is. I'll take it eight gold. And now when he comes back, he's going to be one angry, angry boy, I think. How do we know when he's going to fizzle? Because he does eventually fizzle and die, old Gwen. And I could just cause absolute chaos as well. I might do actually, I might just... Hmm... Because he's got pretty good commander squad, you could use him to... Uh... 
You could use them to command armies too, and I think that'd be pretty successful. Are there any of these not? Oh yeah, quite a few of them aren't in Shadow. What the hell? Go on, go and have a word of these, if you don't mind. He does fizzle after a while. Somebody's died of old age. False Prophet, again, he'll come back. <laughs> and here he is. Embrace Eternity, he's getting up. Dismiss that in a second. Prophet again, dismiss. So let's check this now. So, Immortal Suffering. Cursed Immortality is really ticking up there. I might just kill him again. Because Gawain is right here, like, he's only here. Let's just go back and have another word. You've done that, good lad. Go and bribe these. Oh, you got no money. Damn. Can you... What are you doing? Oh, you're infiltrating. Damn. How long is going to take you? Too long. Damn. <laughs> back you go. He'll rob and then he'll think, I just want to see if I can just keep killing this guy. Giving him the worst life. Good luck ever consecrating, mate. Yeah, this is the Holy Order I'm trying to mess with, this one, this witch is here. Um, I just want them to spread shadow, basically. That's the that's the name of this game. Let's quickly find out if we can kill our dude. <laughs> yeah, we can. Oh my word, he really hates us. That was a house though, leave the body where it lies. Take on the event and take. What house was he then? Vengeance. House Luolu. Is anybody else from House Luolu? Who knows? I don't think so. But I think this guy's going to become even more sad, <laughs> basically, now, which is cool. <laughs> which I'm really keen on. Courtier. Uh, what's the treasury like? Seven. So poor. Mm hmm. But that's enough, actually. So, yeah, we're gonna do a little uh, subtle thievery. You are gonna jump over here and start doing something useful with your life. Is, he, is she still got a. No, she sold it. Who did you sell it to? Who did you sell it to, that sweet cup? Oh, this one. This king, of course, I think we saw this. Has he got two? No, just the one. Okay, I need to really get the unrest flow in here, so... Uh, festering Hatred, yes. And... I could make him give it to someone else. Who's here? A mediator is fully in shadowed. And a witch. No, we'll try and get a ruler to do it. We'll try and get a route to do it, and I'm just waiting for our boy who's immortal to come back to life so we can see what the uh, score is with him. This poor supplicant really needs to lay low in a second, but I'm just not giving the chance. Infiltrate docks. Yeah, it's a while, but I think we can squeeze it once we get the fingers on the go. Oh, okay, we got open a mice sect. We're going to. Nobody cares. Uh, that's fine. He's gonna come back soon. Oh, construct hazards. Hells yes! I don't think I realised this was here before. Here he is. Oh, he's doing it! Embracing Eternity! How long's this section? Ten minutes. I've got to see this though. He's doing it here as well. Thank you. Go to here, and he's going to become a prophet, which is kind of banter. Five guards, security. Yeah. Seven. Oh gosh, it's hefty. That. How long is it going to take? Hmm, it's still going to be mega long. I might just leave it. I might just leave that. That is a long time. Hmm. Anyway, we're not here to see that. Who cares? I'm in the eternal. Eternities. I think that's E. Should it be neither. Eternities embrace. An age prior for comes given up all his ties of humankind and longer and somewhat and it is to die, moving about the world in the haze, taking whatever suits him, unaware of the destruction, not even awake. He's turned into this. Oh my god, what an upgrade. Uh, dismiss that. He's done that. 
Oh my gosh, is that great on heroes? So what does he do now? Adding destruction each turn and healing themselves. What a bad. The character drains life force from the surrounding land. Well, damn, that's cool. I can even attack him. Why would I? But, you know what I'm saying? And we can make a legit immortal vampire, which I think is quite cool. How long is it going to take? 35 turns. Man, oh man, I don't like that. Maybe not, you know, maybe not. Is this part of the alliance? It is, that sucks. That's gonna take an eternity. Hmm. I just wanna see what this cool dude does, this Dreadmire, whatever it's called. And I really wanna persuade this ruler to start drinking his sweet drink. Oh. That's not it. It's this one, isn't it? It's going to take a bit of a long time to get that done now. Not going any in shadow, no, blocking it all. Hmm. This isn't part of the alliance. I could always send my courtier down here just to re... That's got a lot of security. I want him to drink now. I need to figure that out, something to do that. Let's get him down there, see if I can do anything with him. Useful. I think I'm going to spin this. 32 turns is too long. I'm not interested. I might just come here and once he's finished, I'm going to rest him up. Anyway, this isn't what we came here for. I want to see what's going to happen with our Shadow Knight dude. So, let's see this. Let's do some Dark Worship. Dismiss that, dismiss that, dismiss that. Senseless Destruction. I like the sound of it. It sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm super keen. Dismiss all this. I should have saved it for here, my um, bribe. That was a waste. A waste of good courtier. But anyway, keen on a totally awesome uh, Dead Knight, whatever he's called. This guy. What an upgrade. Right, what we're going to do, let me play uh, another, I don't know, 200 turns and we'll see if we can finish this game one way or another. Um, I might just stop the video actually, we'll see, I'll see how it feels, this is getting quite long now, this this section is 15 minutes alone, um, and I feel like this is giving you a very, very good overview of this mod, get this, it is incredible, um, or you can obviously just wait until, um, you can wait until it's released officially on the, work, on the Steam Workshop, uh, which will be made out quite soon once this patch goes live on the main branch, hopefully I'll have finished my opening playthrough by then, um, and I'll if anybody's doing any mods actually or working on it that I haven't covered, if you'd like to let me know, or if you have some work you've done on it, on it and you'd like me to show it off, I'm more than happy to cover it on the channel, if that would be of interest too. So, um, yeah, just just let me know, guys, if that's something you'd be uh, you'd be particularly interested in. If you are working on a mod and you would like people to see it, hopefully I can help spread the word about it um, and do a little bit of coverage on, on what you're working on. So, um, Thank you, as always, for watching. If you watch this video, uh, if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell so you know when you get uh, notified of videos and whatnot. If you really, really like the channel and you want to support me more, um, you can throw me a bit of cash. There's a donate thing somewhere, a link probably somewhere in the description. Uh, you can become a channel member if that's of interest to you too. And you get little like emojis. Um, <laughs> obviously, Shadows are Forbidden Gods themed, right? So it's all the gods for the minute. Uh, all the base game gods, I should say. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you ever so much, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Take care. I've got to show this. So I've played to the end, guys, of this game. Um, it was great. The mod is fantastic. But just a quick uh, quick little addition here. Um, <laughs> in the previous game, there was this replay um, that would happen when you won the game and you'd see the whole map and how you conquered it and what happened and it looks like Bobby's added it again to this now watch this, let's replay this look how good, oh, hold on, I need to unpause it there we are, look watch this this is, I love this, it's so cool and it tells you by the looks when characters die and what happens hold up, we're going to see some 
Shadow's gonna spread pretty soonish, I think. Yeah, there's a darkness coming, look. 1040, the harvester died, but we know he came back, right? Look at that blackness. <gasps> on the left hand side there, just spread in. Oh my word. There it is again, top formations. Oh, Mediator Gons Retries died, gutted. Trickster died. I let a lot of the heroes die towards the end. It doesn't seem as bad as actually I thought it would be, but yeah, re this is a really cool feature in my opinion. Um, I just made a Dark Empire, that's a big blob of shadow basically, it's probably giving me too many points. I wanted to conquer the world. Um, but yes, excellent addition this, very happy to have this back. Uh, so you can see your win sort of in a very at a glance. So anyway guys, I will see you on the next video.